What's up guys, Mike Hyman here with Absolute Construction, your roofologist coming at you from Mesquite this afternoon. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about the components on top of your roof and the longevity of those components. So let's get started. All right guys, so I was called out to this roof that I'm standing on right now by a homeowner who said they had some wind damage. And as you can see, we got some wind damage, missing tabs back here. But ultimately, upon closer inspection, we found that not only is there wind damage, but there is a sizable amount of hail damage as well, right? Even worse, you got right there, right over there. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I'm here to talk to you guys about is are the components that, although your your shingles are or whatever roofing material is designed in a static environment to sustain, you know, just general order, uh, you know, without wind or hail and things like that. Uh, a lengthy amount of time but what is not designed are rubber components like this as you can see that, that's not right okay so this is at one time was sealed right around there and now because it's not that's decking guys that's direct access into the attic space right and we've got it over here too just bad dry rot bad over here as well Anything that hits that is trickling down that pipe and leaking into the attic. So uh, we knew that this roof, roof was leaking, but we didn't know until we really dug in that every single plumbing jack here is experiencing this dry rot. And this is not just localized to the, to the plumbing jacks, uh, although there's no issue with these particular um, attic vents on this house, you'll notice that they are plastic vents. Now, when I install roofs, I prefer to go back with metal vents because <clears throat> when it comes to metal vents, it's gonna take a large chunk of hail to really tear the metal. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever actually seen it, maybe breaking at the seams and just uh, coming, coming apart at the seams, but never actually breaking through the metal. Now, uh, in the event, or in the uh, case of plastic vents like this, over time, exposure to sun, they get, they get dry and brittle. And ultimately, the hail that couldn't penetrate or, or crack them on day one, by the time you're five years, six years, seven years down the road, it's brittle and a simple boom by something inch, whatever, can potentially crack this. And then this whole circle right here, anything that's cracked inside of that area is going dri is gonna drip uh, rain, rainwater, inside the attic space. So again, uh, there are, shingles are designed to, and pretty much every roofing material is designed in a static environment to withstand you know just general weather right i mean even texas weather so texas has some unforgiving sun but even even in those cases without wind or hail some roofs last i mean i've seen roofs last 20 years it's uncommon here because we get hit by hail so much but ultimately uh what's not designed to spend to, to take 20 years of unforgiving texas sun are things like this it's just they're just not so this kind of goes back to my recommendation of getting your roof checked out at least once a year you know, um, the inspection process is free. Uh, if you call somebody like myself out, you know, there are plenty of reputable companies out here in this market. Um, call one that's reputable, gonna give it to you honest. They're not gonna try to sell you something you don't need because uh, the janky roofer is gonna try to sell you on something you don't need. They're gonna take pictures and, and whatnot and make it look a lot worse than it is. At this point, I just wanna tell you what you need and sell you on that and build that relationship so that we can keep it all moving down the road. And then when you do need something bigger, I would love to be that resource. So anyways, hope this tip was helpful. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and weekend. Had a great Easter and we'll talk to the next video. Bye.